Psycho Cruiser, why don't you get that new awesome 2024 Triumph Street Triple or the new Speed Triple? Get that. That's a really awesome bike. Or Psycho Cruiser, why don't you get a new Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R? Or hey, get a Hayabusa with all that torque, man. Or Psycho Cruiser, get that Kawasaki H2. That would be so epic. Well, I'm fixing to tell you why I won't. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. You throw a leg over the motorcycle, the looks don't matter no more, guys. Most people don't even care what you're riding. A very small percentage of people ride bikes out here or you know, care about bikes. When I see motorcycles, I just love to see riders out here. I don't care what they're riding, man. You know, just as long as they're on two wheels and having fun out here, man. Yeah, baby. We out here. I'm telling you, you should wear the airbag vest because this could help keep you from a wheelchair if you ever get hit out here on the streets, man. I have a link to this airbag vest in the description and comment section of this video, along with my favorite helmet ever, this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my motor vlog camera, my gauntlet gloves, all my gear I include links in the description and comment section of this video. But I'm going to tell you, man, that I think one of the king of ugly motorcycles is the Kawasaki H2. But it's so ugly, it's badass, and I think it's a unique, cool bike that honestly, I wish I would have got that bike <laughs> when I had the opportunity. I actually bought one of those bikes that had carbon fiber wheels for like 22, 23,000 or something like that. And it only had like 20 miles on it. It was mint. It was like a showpiece in a, in a, a dealership. And stupid Cycle Cruiser canceled the sale because I was worried about losing my license <laughs> I should have bought that bike that's a collector's bike now now old used ones are running like freaking the old one with like 10,000 miles and beat up they're selling for like thirty thousand dollars it's crazy when you can buy a new one for like I think thirty thousand now but I may get that bike the H2 so don't don't get all sensitive if you own one of these bikes I say is ugly or you know horrible looking because it, it, it you should be sensitive about that it doesn't matter it just matters that you think it's beautiful but another very ugly bike horrible looking i think is a suzuki katana the new one man they try to make it kind of retro new looking it's ugly man big old long face ugly horrible looking man I, yeah, and some of you guys think that's beautiful looking though so i i don't know i think it's terrible looking what do you guys think you think it's ugly or what, man? Hayabusa. Big old whale looking bike. A lot of you guys, Cycle Cruiser, you get the high, you should get a Hayabusa. It's got a lot of torque. You like that torque, Cycle Cruiser. You need to get that. <laughs> uh, no, nah, man. It looks like a big old whale. I don't like them big old whale like a ZX-14R, the Hyper, the hyper Sport, uh, whatever you call those bikes, man. I... I to me, I, I like lightweight bikes. A lot of you guys know that, that you can throw around. Um, I'm not really into the big bikes like that, but to each his own. The ZX-14R is better looking to me than the Hayabusa, and they're equal, I think, as far as performance. They're both really fast bikes. Uh, the ZX-14, the ZX-10R, the new one. I just told you that in another video, how ugly that is. That used to be a good looking bike. I love the previous generation ZX-10R, man. Look slick. Man, look awesome. And, but this new ZX-10R, man, that thing looks at the front. It looks like they tried to copy a Ducati uh, Panigale kind of a little bit with their own spin to it, but it's a fail. And the look, the front just looks, don't look right, man. Um, it's, a, it's probably a cool bike, don't get me wrong. ZX-10R has always been a cool bike. And it was always a good looking bike in the past, except for this new one. Uh, even the old, old ZX-10Rs look cool to me. I say another one is ugly, is that, that a lot of you guys get, you think it's cool, which is, I'm sure it's a fun little bike, is that little Honda Grom. That little frog face looking gremlin looking Honda ground <laughs> that's an ugly little bike some of you big tall dudes riding around here like it's a regular bike out here it's a fun little bike to mess around on don't get me wrong guys but really you shouldn't be riding it out here on the main streets like it's a real like it's a main bike <laughs> that's one you should be ripping on the you know messing around in parking lots doing wheelies and crapping around here and there doing some off-road with it or something 
But anyways, to each his own, man. I say another one, the Triumph motorcycles. I think all of them, most of them, I hate their headlights, especially on the street triple and the speed triple. The new one looks marginally better, but they love them like bug-eyed headlights. I don't understand why they like them bug-eyed headlights on there, man. It's one of the most... It looks terrible to me, man. And it's a great bike. Don't get me wrong. Everybody I've talked to, Cycle Cruiser, you need to get the speed trip or the street trip. It's awesome. I get to hear anybody say anything bad about that bike except for the looks. And it's in a, you know, if you like that look, and that's good for you, man. But I, that's one of the reasons why I never got the bike, because I just didn't like the headlights. <laughs> Very homely looking bikes of the, the Triumph. They like that. I don't know. They have their own style, though. I got to give it to them. You know, they got their own flavor. You know, they're not trying to copy everybody else, you know. Um, but Japan, they make some of the ugliest bikes, though. You got, they make the best, in my opinion, make some of the best motorcycles, but they make some of the most ugliest motorcycles. Some of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser, man. Why you get this ugly Yamaha MT-07? That's one of the most horrible looking motorcycles you can buy you know beauty's an eye beholder i think it's a good looking bike myself but once you throw a leg over a bike the looks don't matter but the yamaha mt-10 the only reason i never tr got that bike to try out is because i it's too ugly it looks like a looks like a transformer man <laughs> i mean seriously looks like a freaking transformer man and the new one they tried to make it look a little better but it looks to me it looks just as bad i don't know you know but naked bikes aren't really it's hard to make a naked bike look pretty the only ones in my opinion that makes naked bikes look pretty is the uh the envy agusta you know they, they got some of the best looking naked bikes but they have the they get they come in dead last in the shootouts almost every year man <laughs> and they're some of the most expensive bikes but they're the coolest looking bikes and then you know ducati's got the street fighter i think that's the best looking naked bike in my opinion is a street fighter uh v4 that looks sick man in my opinion good looking i don't know what do you guys think leave a comment below what do you guys think what's the the best looking naked bike uh, we out here in lake erie baby check it out yeah lake erie baby ha <laughs> ha out here in cleveland some of you call Cleveland ugly. <laughs> I love Cleveland. I'll tell you, I used to, I didn't appreciate it until I left several times and then I came back. And Cleveland has, all, has a way of always bringing you back. Um, but I'll tell you, I love it every time I come back. This is home to me. And we got really good people here. Very cheap to live here, guys. That's one of the reasons why I came back. <laughs> Make sure to hit thumbs up. You like this video. Uh, subscribe. Hit that little bell symbol to get notified of my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Yeah.